Hello everyone, thanks for joining me. How about a little shop my stash, get ready with me. Yep, I've already shopped the stash and I've got the products right here. And it's it's Thursday, but it, it's been quite a week. I mean, Belle starting school and getting Biddy all ready for school, signing up for Belle to take the bus, bus never comes, bus never comes the next day, confirmed it both days. The mornings have been tough. I've been squeezing in my work here and there. Bubba's been fussy. I took Biddy to get a physical the other day and it wasn't like the place we thought we were gonna get it at. They had to direct us to a different place and we had a really hard time finding it. When I say we, I mean I. And I was like doing all these twists and turns and then she gets car sick because she does get motion sickness. So I get her all cleaned up from that and end up getting the physical, but <laughs> this week we are just grinding through it. You know, we're just getting through it. And so I need a comfort video, okay? I need a video that just feels good, that just feels right. And that is, you know, shopping my stash. I've got some forgotten loves here. I've got some things that are just plain forgotten. I'm just gonna knock over a bunch of things while I get it conveniently set close to me. This is the primer. I've already prepped my skin. It's the Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer 12 Hour Makeup Grip. Remember me using this all the time? I think I've used probably a little over half of this stuff. It's kind of green in color and I believe, you know, a lot of people see it as being a dupe to the Milk Makeup Grip. And I do feel like it adds hydration and it does really help staying power. I've noticed that. And I've used it enough times to really have an accurate read on that, I feel. Today we get to go to Biddy's pre-k to meet her teacher but it's the same teacher Belle had which we're so happy about like love that experience she was amazing can't wait to see her again I think Biddy's gonna get along great but after I drop Belle off that is the activity of the morning see we chose busing for Belle even though we're in town Biddy has pre-k in a different building now in a totally different part of town and I just thought it'd be easy for us to have Belle like get on the bus go to school and then I can get in the car with Biddy and take her where she needs to go but it's just I don't know what the dang deal is I've been on the phone with people they've told me exact times that the bus is gonna come and then like zero buses down the road like nobody <laughs> and these first couple days of school it has dropped her back off at home but I'm just gonna end up taking her because I don't want this confusion in the mornings and just having to stand around and wait and I'd be fine with it if the bus was just like behind schedule because then you'd know well at least I'm on the list for them to get here to me and I'm sure they'll get more on schedule as time goes on it's the fact that no bus ever came and even my dad came and he was like waiting to see after I took Bell like will a bus ever come like 20 minutes after start of school time or something no, that's my best drama. I'm done. I'm gonna use this Huda Stick Foundation. Okay, this is in sh the shade Shortbread. It's the buildable coverage foundation stick that I quite enjoy. I really like this stuff. It has some coverage and it's a stick. And there's a special little brush that came out when this did as well to help you blend it. It's double-ended and I do have a hard time storing it. Like this has to sit out on my table most of the time, but it's got this little like kind of triangular like pyramid shape here triangular prism I don't know um, and then this bigger like buffing brush and the neat thing about that bigger size is that it can only apply so much pressure it does have some movement can you see that movement and because like it can't press too hard, it does have that movement. I feel like it maintains a lot of full coverage. And then you can use this more pointy side, just like this, get up around the eye area, get yourself covered, take care of it. It's gonna be okay. Today's a new day. But yeah, to make everything work in the morning, it's not that anybody cares, like I just, I'm just, I'm just getting it off my chest at this point, I'm just venting. If I take Belle early enough to school, I'll be able to swing the whole taking both of them and then going over because Biddy's start time is just a little bit later. So I can pull it off that way or, um, my mom and dad have a car seat in their car and they can take Bell. Or Bub's going to get a car seat in his truck and he can take her right before he goes to work. So it's going to be okay. We've got options here. So isn't that beautiful? Can't you see how there's like a little bit of natural looking finish on the skin as I turn my head and stuff. Isn't that great? Here's a concealer I've forgotten about for too long. It's my Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer in SX05. Now this is a little pot that you're going to have for a long time because this is potent, creamy concealer with 
stiff peaks, my friends. Like you put your finger in there, it just kind of like goes bzzz, like it's really good stuff. And I'm gonna dab this around my under eye area. This is gonna be great under eye concealer. I'm just gonna start where, by putting it where I want it and then I'll use a brush to help me out on the blending. This is so good. I just kind of store it in a little different part of my drawer. So I'm not always thinking about pulling it out. You ever have products like that? It's like there's no good reason why you don't use it more other than just logistics. <laughs> Okay, there we are, we're all dabbed around. Then I'm gonna take my friendly little brush here. This is my Real Techniques. It's a, a highlighter brush that I like to use for concealer. I'm just gonna mush this around my under eye area and get some good coverage out of it. I feel like this would go in really well with the Beauty Blender too, or just the heat of your fingers. For some reason it's looking best when I kind of spread it around with this brush and then kind of pat over it with a fingertip. There's that all blended in. Again, it's thick, but it's really creamy. There's a lot of moisture in it. It's not a dry thickness. It's a very, very creamy richness, I would say. And then I pulled out um, a powder that I really do like. I don't love the packaging design, but I like the powder a lot. The HD Baking and Setting Loose Powder from Catrice. I remember when I was doing a lot of the um, NARS Soft Matte Foundation and Concealer, this powder worked really well on top of that. Trouble is, like, they have this stopper and if you've gotten tippy with this product a little bit, which I have recently, sometimes taking out the stopper can cause like a whoosh of, of powder, <laughs> fine powder. But I pick a little up on the e.l.f. Small Tapered and just go to town setting that concealer because I feel it needs it, setting my T-zone. But I really like that foundation stick. I think it does a great job. For as much coverage as it has, it really looks natural. And it's a nice brush that you can use with it, that double-ended. Ah, there we go. Got our little veil of staying power insurance there. And then I pulled out just a random little bronzer here from Physicians Formula. This is the multicolored custom bronzer, and I do like this. This is pretty. I kind of zhuzh over here toward the deeper side of things, and this ends up giving me like a soft, bronzy look. I'm trying to remember the video that I featured this in. It's probably like under the radar types of drugstore products or older products. This has been out for a long time. I know I've seen it in stores for a while. It's nice, it has kind of a satiny finish and then you know you could partially use it like face powder if you wanted to confine to the lighter side of it or um, you could mix it all together. How are we liking this? This is really light. Maybe this showed a little bit more when my skin had less color from just summertime. Not that I've got a huge tan going right now, but you know, it's really soft. You don't need to be a bronze goddess every single day and just wait till you see what eyeshadow I pulled out for this look. Blush, I love this Almay blush. It's the Healthy Hue Blush in Nearly Nude. I had talked about this. I think I'd reviewed it in a bite size review. We're talking satin finish, kind of pretty neutral soft blush. This might be what's close to the shade of this new Clinique one I got. Hang on. <laughs> yep. Okay, let's pop that on. See the rosiness yet kind of neutral quality in it? Oh, I love it. Ooh, that's so healthy and nice. I just came alive, friends. I just came alive. Just like that, I felt my attitude improve, my energy level, my optimism for the day. Yeah, cool. Okay, next up, I pulled out my Glossier Halo Scope. This is the Dew Effect Highlighter in Quartz. And this was one of the things I really liked from this brand when I did like a full Glossier video. It's a really creamy, nice little cream highlight. Oh, it's a creamy cream highlight, Em? Thanks for dropping that knowledge on us. No, but you see, like the, the stick, it's not the least bit dry. You know how you, we've all touched some kind of cream product stick and we're like, okay, I know this is supposed to be creamy, but where's the creaminess? This has it, is my point. So I'm just dabbing that right on my cheekbone area. I think it's got a little extra moisture there because you see that core? That's usually what's stuck in the cores is moisture. I'm just dabbing it on with my fingers. 
trying not to mess up that nice coverage underneath. And it looks like all the textures are responding well. Nothing's looking cakey or rough. A little bit come up there. Do, do, do. Root, toot, toot. To um, instill even more of a perk up this morning, I'm gonna use this Supercharged Milani Revitalizing Face Mist. I think I once called this orange juice in a face mist, so. That first mist came out a little odd, but oh, really does feel like I'm inhaling orange juice. But my skin does look a little more dewy now, a lot more dewy actually. I'm kind of dabbing in. That feels nice. And then I'm gonna use a couple of brow products from Wet n Wild. I'm gonna use my Brow Sessive um, pencil and gel. I'm about out of this, so I'm kind of like wanting to get through it. And then I have this pencil that I noticed in my drawer the other day. It's just dark brown, and it's a really standard pencil, my friends. It's literally a pencil. And um, I've seen people talking about a, a different kind of pencil from Wet n Wild that I kind of want to try, like a, what's the word? Automatic retractable. It's a retractable pencil. And I don't think it's like a real skinny one, but I've heard some raves, so I kind of want to try that. This just seems like such a such a standard little pencil to come out in a new line. I remember being underwhelmed when I first used it. Like they put the name Brow Sessive on it and then they put out the kind of pencil that our moms have been using for decades. I will try the newer one, the retractable one. You know what the important thing is though? Belle loves her teacher. She had her first full day yesterday and She's like excited to do it all over again, so I'm glad for that, you know? I'm glad that's the attitude. She's a kid who loves routine. She thrives on routine, and so once that starts to seem a little more normal for her, then she's really gonna be all about it. Right now, I just know so many things are seeming new to her, like cafeteria eating, and her first story that she told me yesterday was, they gave us some baked beans, and I tried one, and I kind of gagged a little. And the girl next to me said, are you okay? <laughs> and then apparently she got real hung up on whether to eat the beans or whether to not, or if it would be okay if she left the beans. And she ignored the mini corn dogs. And before she knew it, time was up for eating and she had hardly eaten anything. I'm like, we gotta work on that. And I said, you'll get used to it. It's not gonna seem that crazy, you know, every time. And if you think you're not gonna have enough time, see the main thing on your plate and really go after that. Okay, so the Brow Sessive Gel, I have it in brown. And this is pretty good, but I feel like I'm pulling out hardly anything on the brush, and I think it's because I'm about, I've about used it up. I got a little on the tip there that I'm raking through. But it holds pretty well and it adds some tint. I don't like it quite as well as the Elf Brow Wow. I think that one thickens up a little more. But it ain't bad. I'm glad they're doing something like this. And they have a little bitty brush on it too. What's cool is next year, since Biddy will be in kindergarten, the two of them will both be at the same school. One drop off. That'll be cool. I'm getting a little Milani eyeshadow primer on here. And again, you're gonna love my eye selection. If you've been wanting me to use a little more color, I thought, I don't want to go like wild color because, you know, I do have something to go out and do in public today. <laughs> Let's get some color. So this is what I went for. <laughs> We're going to hit him with the hot jalapeno today from the Elf Bite Size line. One of the ones nobody ever talks about from this line. Cream and sugar gets a lot of buzz. This one, not so much. I know I've worn it before, but man, has it been a while. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna start by going with my darkest shade. I'm gonna use my little shadow switch here because I didn't wash my brush recently. I'm gonna go to the darkest green and we're gonna do our little technique where we get that padded in the outer corner and then we blend over it and it becomes like this low key kind of crease color too. I like a good forest green every now and then. And you know, we gotta, we gotta give our eyes a little extra love when we have to be wearing a mask. Okay, you see how I'm not only patting it on the lid, but we're doing that, what we like to do there with the brush, flipping it around, getting it up to the crease as well. And then I'm taking this bare crease brush, nothing on it at this point, and I'm just gonna blend over what's been 
patted up creaseward and just blending that around. I'm liking that. I'm liking it. I'm wanting to add a little more. So I'm going to go straight in. I just kind of dip straight down in with this crease brush that's from Profusion but really similar to a Sigma E25 in shape and size. Letting a little more come in there. A little more forest green. Why not? Then I'm going to go to this matte green. We've got two mattes, two shimmers here. I'm going to go to this matte, more like pure grassy green. And some of that's going to come up here. And it's looking kind of like as it shears out and as it comes a little bit in contact with the darker green, it's coming off a bit more olive. I think it's plenty pigmented to where if you patted that full on on your lid, you would get that kind of intensity. But as you shear it, you see what happens to it. It becomes more murky. And that's fine. I'm, I'm good with murky on this day. At times I glance at what's shearing out here and it almost looks like a hint yellowy. That green does have more yellow in it. But we're getting a nice little haze worked up there. I think we're to the point where I want to take a bare blending brush. Just make sure everything here is as soft as it can be. Checking up close, seeing if we got any fallout. Not really. Not really. Now I'm going to go into this green shimmer. It looks like a really spring green kind of color. Woo! Look at that. And I'm going to pat that over the remainder of my lid. I'm not going to lie, it's way more opaque than I was expecting or that I remembered. This is like, um, what's the school that has, uses a lot of neon green, like uh, University of Oregon? <laughs> Great University of Oregon quad here. This is making me now want to go in, back in, coming at it from the other side, just to make sure there's a nice blend coming in with some of that dark again. Sometimes you have to do this when the shimmer turns out to be a little bit more profound than you thought. And it looks pretty because you have a little bit of that matte blending over. It's a pretty fade. I'm good with that. And then I want to see some of that green come all the way around. Smudgy lower liner. These bite-sized quads aren't playing around. I really think my favorite shade in it is the dark green. And if you had like this one and cream and sugar, I think the dark green would be really pretty actually playing with some of those shades or maybe putting the dark green in with the berry one. Ooh, that might be fun. Okay, okay. Then I'm gonna go nude in the lower inner rim with my classic ABH double-ended pencil. And I didn't really pull a liner, but I'm going to do a lash today. I'll go with this Too Faced Better Than Sex liner pen. It's right up there with, you know, the one from M Cosmetics, Wet n Wild Breakup Proof, and the NYX Epic Ink. All good liner pens. Can probably get by by going with the cheapest one, but this one does have a really nice sharp point. Not like sharp, sharp, but it really comes down in there. And I don't think I'm going to go wild with the liner. I'm just going to do a, a normal little line. Just line my natural shape of my eye. It's so neon. <laughs> like I just wasn't expecting that much neon. For mascara, I pulled out this So Fierce Big Bad Lash from Revlon. This came in PR. Is this the full size? See, um, let me give you some scale. Here's Thrive Liquid, liquid, liquid Lash Extensions. You know, it's shorter. I'm not sure. Maybe that is the full size, but we're gonna use that. I actually got along all right with that mascara recently. What's going on? Like e.l.f. mascaras never used to work for me. Revlon mascaras never used to work for me. And now I've kind of got a couple that are sort of doing okay. For lips, I may keep it kind of a matte lip just because I know I will be masked up today for the teacher meeting. Looks a lot like um, L'Oreal Lash Paradise type of vibe there with the hourglass shape. Bristles aren't super long. Like it's a big brush, but it's not quite as crazy big as the new e.l.f. But I do like it because it seems to build pretty well on itself. Like once you go back and add a little bit more, builds up well. Man, it's starting to not get light as fast. We're starting to come into fall, aren't we? It's hot as can be this week here, though, so it's still still some summery vibes. No owls giving any feedback on my look today. 
Wow, I got a good curl on the lashes on this side for once. The camera shed off on me, but here's what we're building up to with a couple coats on each eye. See how it's looking kind of like nice and dark and thick? It's not building up as fast as some of like the, the Essence that I like or Superhero, but ultimately way better than any other Revlon mascara I've messed with in recent memory. So there is that. I did, however, get a couple little spots on my lid. All clear. And then I will do my Thrive on the lower lashes. And then I'm gonna pop on a lash, you guys. This is my Coco Lashes in Risqué. So I'll put that on and I'll be right back. All right, so there's my lashes on. And then um, for the lips, I pulled out a lip liner I hadn't used in a while. This is the L'Oreal Color Riche Matte in the shade called Mastermind. I remember really liking this once upon a time. So I got it all resharpened. It goes on really, really smooth. Okay, so there's that. I love that color just as is. I'm talking quietly because Bubba just woke up randomly crying. He never does this. 10 till 6. Bub got him. The matte lipstick in Velvet Teddy from MAC. That's what I'm going to throw on with this. Gosh, it's almost like a shade match. I like that. Pretty. Very safe lip with a very kind of wild feeling eye today. Um, but thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Shop My Stash video. I definitely did. Was really happy to get back in touch with products like this. Um, always love this foundation stick. This is a really nice creamy concealer. If you're very dry on the under eye, you might really like that. Another couple of things I really liked um, using again were this Almay blush. I love that tone. And then this highlight from Glossier it looks really fresh on top of everything. So thank you guys so, so much for your time. I hope you're having a good week. Had a great week. This will go up on Saturday, right? And I will see you again very soon. I love you. Bye.